Now let's talk about the applications of Bio and Savai's law. The first application, suppose if a circular coil is there and current is passing through it, then what should be the magnetic field at its center? To do this, we will have to take the small current element. Let it be I dl. dl is the length of this element and I is the current. I dl is called current element. And this is the center O. Now this current element is always tangential to the circular coil and according to Bio and Savai's law db is equal to mu naught by 4 pi ideal sin theta by r square here this db is the small magnetic field generated by the small current element ideal. Now here theta is the angle between the radius vector and the current element. So we have to draw what do you understand by radius vector? You have to join the current element to the point of interest. Here we are interested to calculate the magnetic field at the center. So this is R. Now this R is the distance from the current element to the point of interest. Now what is the value of theta here? As the current element is tangential and this radius vector is r therefore the angle must be 90 degrees so this is a circular loop it is this vector shows the direction of current element and this is the diameter so this angle you have to take so this angle is always 90 degrees if you substitute there db is equal to mu naught by 4 pi i by r square dl and sin 90 the sin 90 is 1 if you want to calculate b you have to take the contribution of all such small elements placed all over the circle that means you have to take the integration of dl from 0 to 2 pi r Of course, outside mu naught i by 4 pi r square is already there. And these are all constants. Now, if you write the integration of this dl, it will be 2 pi r. Now the final result B is equal to mu naught I by 2R by cancelling this pi two twos are and 1R is cancelled. So this is our final result. So this magnetic field is more when I is increased and if 
r is increased the magnetic field as the distance is increased the magnetic field is getting reduced so here b is directly proportional to i inversely proportional to r so here this is the current element and this is the radius vector now how do you find the direction of magnetic field in this case the direction of magnetic field can be known with the help of ampere's right hand rule if you keep these fingers in the direction of current then thumb gives us the direction of the magnetic field so here as it is in the counter clockwise direction the thumb is coming up this would be the direction of the magnetic field so this vector shows the direction of magnetic field if you write the vector form of bio and savais law you will get mu not by 4 pi i dl cross r that means the magnetic field must be perpendicular to this r vector and ideal vector so here if it stands like this this is perpendicular to this radius vector at the same time it is also perpendicular to this vector now suppose if the current is in the opposite direction if it is in this direction then i have to keep my fingers in such a way that they should be folded in the direction of current and the magnetic field is into the board and here it is out of the board these are the notations we follow for magnetic field into the board and out of the board